just before we begin our Mass this morning, the live recording of Mass in this way will cease at the end of this week because, as a general reminder to all of you, all of our Masses, all of our Masses and all liturgies are now live at the actual time being taken from the camera out to the back of our church. So this manual recording ceases later in the week. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <coughs> My brothers and sisters in Christ, on this Tuesday of the 17th week of the year, we offer the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass this morning especially for the repose of the soul of Patsy Daly. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my thoughts, through my thoughts, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of our Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let the groans of the prisoners come before you, 
Let us run on according to us condemned to die. But we, your people, the flock of your pasture, will give you thanks forever and ever. We will tell your praise from age to age. Bless you, O Lord, for the glory of your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord remains forever. What is this word? It is the good news that has been brought to us. Hallelujah.
So we, so we must always rely on the ever more objective grace of God the Father, which is available to us primarily through the sacraments of the Church, and especially, of course, in the sacrament of reconciliation, where we are forced to face the realities about ourselves also it is there where we meet Christ himself, the Lord of the harvest, where he meets us, greets us, but judges us with his eternal love. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the Lord of His name. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life, and lead us to eternal happiness. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our prayers, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph the Spouse, with your blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, with St. Thomas of Canterbury, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation be prayed, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith charity, your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, he dared to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord.
be with you always. And with your spirit. Now, and take away sins of us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away sins of us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away sins of us. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Son of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter the world. Let me save the
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all ten, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. I commend to you today the very beautiful meditation and recitation of the Holy Rosary on the Westminster Diocese and Virtual Pilgrimage site. Very the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thank you, God.